Ankylosing spondylitis is a form of arthritis. It causes pain and stiffness in the spine. The word ankylosing means rigid. In AS, the bones of the spine become very rigid, they can join or fuse together. The symptoms often begin in the lower back, they may also affect the hips and the rest of the spine. Other joints are not affected as often. Symptoms The most common symptoms of AS are fatigue, back pain, and stiffness. The symptoms feel worse after resting. They feel better after exercise or a hot bath or shower. The symptoms usually come and go, but slowly get worse over time. You may also have pain in the buttocks that shoots down into your thighs, stooped shoulders, trouble taking a deep breath, pain and stiffness in the hips, neck, knees, and feet. Also there could be fatigue and fever. Causes The causes of AS are not known. Genes may play an important role. Most people with AS have a gene called HLA-B27. But some people with this gene do not get AS, and some people with AS do not have the gene. If you have the gene and you have a family member with AS, your chance of having AS is higher. Doctors think that the cause of AS may be a combination of genes, and something in your lifetime, such as an infection, that triggers it to become active. Ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic inflammatory disorder affecting the spine and sacroiliac joints. It is a type of arthritis characterized by severe stiffness and pain in the lower back and hips. Diagnosis of AS involves multiple steps, including physical examination, laboratory tests, imaging studies, and genetic testing. Physical examination. During the physical exam, your doctor will closely examine your back for signs of inflammation or deformity such as restricted range of motion or tenderness in certain areas. They may also ask you to perform certain movements to evaluate how well your spine moves. Laboratory tests. Blood tests are used to check for markers that indicate inflammation in the body such as C-reactive protein CRP, or erythrocyte sedimentation rate or ESR. These results can help doctors rule out other conditions with similar symptoms. Imaging studies. Imaging studies such as X-rays or MRI scans can be used to look at the bones and joints in more detail than a physical exam allows. This helps doctors identify any changes that may have occurred due to as such as fusion between vertebrae or narrowing of spinal spaces, caused by inflammation. And lastly, genetic testing. A genetic test known as HLA, B27 can be used to confirm a diagnosis of AS if other tests come back inconclusive. This test looks for an inherited gene associated with an increased risk for developing AS which can help confirm a diagnosis. If you think you may have ankylosing spondylitis, it is important to get diagnosed early so you can begin treatment right away and prevent further damage from occurring. Risk Factors and Complications A family history of AS and having the HLA-B27 gene are the two biggest risk factors. Being male is another risk factor. Men are found to have AS more often than women. Possible complications can include gradual stiffening of the spine, gradual stiffening of the chest wall, inflammation of the eyes, inflammatory bowel disease, weakening of the bones called osteoporosis, and depression. Treatment There is no cure for AS, but several treatments can help. These include exercise to stretch the spine and posture exercises to keep the spine straight as well as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, for pain and stiffness. Corticosteroid drugs to fight inflammation when symptoms flare. Disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs if NSAIDs are not helping. Tumor necrosis factor inhibitor drugs or TNF blockers, which are new drugs that may slow down the progression of the disease. Other treatments may include surgery to replace or repair a joint, support and counseling, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.